you knew it was coming. We need to talk about Rey Skywalker. Why did Rey from Nowhere, aka Rey Palpatine, end the Disney sequel trilogy with the distinct honor of getting to carry on the Skywalker name? Did she earn it? Who gave her the right? Did she deserve it? I've heard these questions a lot out in the world talking with other Star Wars fans, and in this video I'm going to make the case for Rey Skywalker, and why Rey, one of, I think, the most uninteresting characters in the entire saga, should carry the name of Luke and Leia forward, and why that's good for Star Wars and for you and me, the fans. Now, I want to start with my priors and where I'm coming from on the Star Wars sequels and what I think about them. I don't like them. I feel pretty strongly that the Star Wars movies ever since George Lucas's departure have been mostly a disturbance in the Force. The Force Awakens was mostly good, a fine start to a new trilogy that played it pretty safe. The Last Jedi tried too hard to be edgy but it was a thoughtful movie that had a point of view about what Star Wars means that I think is incorrect. The Rise of Skywalker was actually the worst of it all. Dredging up Palpatine as a last-ditch effort to appease very online fans, hanging him up on some sort of meat hook in a dungeon, and then weirdly shoving the First Order out of the story for a secret Sith army was next-level insanity. The peak of Disney Star Wars being afraid of its own shadow and thinking their fans just want explosions and ham-handed nostalgia in order to make them happy. But I remember how curious I was when the title for Episode Nine was revealed, The Rise of Skywalker. It was interesting. I mean, Luke was dead at this point, Carrie Fisher had passed away, so we knew Leia was going to be written out of the story as well, and the only person with Skywalker blood was Kylo Ren, aka Ben Solo. So who was going to rise? Well, after I saw the trailer and Rey do that cool backflippy skywalking thing over the TIE Fighter, I had a fan theory. The time of the Jedi was in fact going to end like Luke said it had to, and a new order was going to arise in its image, and they'd call themselves Skywalkers. I know, it's brilliant. Lucasfilm, call me. These Skywalkers would revere Luke Skywalker and study the Force in its entirety and sort of embody the old gray Jedi fever dream that Star Wars fans have long held. Rey and Kylo Ren as the Force dyad were going to be the ones to start it, after all, Kylo Ren had suggested that he and Rey should unite and let the past die, kill it if they had to. And to me, that signaled a new era of a universe without Jedi or Sith. But that's not what happened. In the end, they basically just fell right back into safe territory by redeeming the villain, killing him off entirely, and sending Rey to Tatooine to bury the Anakin Skywalker Youngling Slayer 5000 lightsaber in Luke's childhood home. Then an old lady appears there and she asks, Who are you? I'm Rey. Rey who? Rey Skywalker. For a movie I was literally embarrassed to be seen walking out of with my family, I didn't hate this ending. In fact, I kind of like it. You see, there's an ideal here that I believe is valuable to you and me as fans and as people. If the message of the Revenge of the Sith was that the road to hell is paved with good intentions, and the message of Return of the Jedi was that no one is beyond hope for redemption, and the message of The Last Jedi is that your childhood heroes are no longer sacred, then the message of the Rise of Skywalker was that if I cherish the wisdom, strength, and courage of the Skywalker name, I too can be a Skywalker. Why are we doing this? It's because you're watching Geeky Stoics, a channel all about philosophy and pop culture. Which, by the way, you should be subscribed to, and if you're not already on our newsletter at geekystoics.com, you should join up. Since what we do here is philosophize, I want to direct you to a piece of philosophy to help you think through this question of why Ray is a Skywalker. We are in the habit of saying that it was not in our power to choose the parents who were allotted to us that they were given to us by chance, but we can choose whose children we would like to be. These words come from Seneca, the Stoic philosopher and doomed advisor to the Roman Emperor Nero, who lived and died in the first century AD. 
Seneca was a vocal advocate for looking beyond your immediate circles of influence for inspiration and a sense of belonging. Here he sang something that we all know to be true, which is that you don't get to pick your parents. For better or for worse, you get what you get. Some of us draw lucky hands with loving or prestigious families, and others will struggle with parents who are so beneath admiration you'd want to change your name as soon as you're legally able. Sound familiar? But you are never deprived of your power to walk in the footsteps of someone better, someone not just of a better name, but someone who is worthy of imitation. Seneca continues in this passage from On the Shortness of Life, and he says, There are households of the noblest intellects. Choose the one into which you wish to be adopted, and you will inherit not only their name, but their property too. Nor will this property need to be guarded meanly or grudgingly. The more it is shared out, the greater it will become. Do you get where I'm going here? In the times of ancient Rome, adoption was the norm. Child mortality was really high, and most didn't make it to adulthood. Elite families, most of all, were up against higher pressure to have heirs, and so adoption was accepted, even at the highest levels of power. Emperors adopted heirs, and it didn't create legitimacy crises like you might imagine in later monarchical societies. Some people in the universe have no people. Who are your people? I don't have people. Solo. They have no ties, no relationships or anchors. Others are running away from their family history. Ray is one such person by the time we get to the second act of episode 9. I don't agree with Disney making Ray a Palpatine either. It's one of the most uninspired plot points I've ever seen in Star Wars. But there's some lemonade to be made from lemons here, which is the opportunity for your protagonist to choose a different legacy, one that is better, one that deserves another chapter. I asked you earlier, did Rey earn it? Did she deserve to anoint herself as a Skywalker, literally? This is the question that we all face as children of anyone remotely admirable. Consider the most admirable person in human history that millions of people have attempted to model themselves after, Jesus Christ. C.S. Lewis, the guy behind the Chronicles of Narnia, in his writings on the nature of Christian belief, reminds us that to be a Christian, you are essentially saying, I am a little Christ. And from the moment you make that choice, you are carrying that name, Christ, either to glory or infamy. And you don't deserve it. And you might not be able to do it well at all. But you have to play the part. And to be what C.S. Lewis called the toy soldier performing the role in hopes that one day it will become real, both inside and out. Personal story. The other day I was in a church small group with a group of guys, and we were discussing when we became Christians. And one of the guys talked about how he had resisted being baptized for over a decade because he was so certain that he hadn't, quote, earned it, and that he had to read the entire Bible from front to back and become more Christ-like in his daily life in order to become a Christian, which of course is a dead end road. I'm not saying that fake it to make it is a justification for going around taking other people's last names, but what the great C.S. Lewis was reminding us of is that you have to make a decision. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. To be a certain thing and manifest it one day at a time. So be it, Jedi. That decision is the first step in defeating imposter syndrome and laying down a family legacy that maybe we don't want to belong to. Rey declares herself a Skywalker, so now the real work begins. Look, I'm not saying that Disney, J.J. Abrams, Kathleen Kennedy thought any of this through at all or that they've even read a book. But that doesn't mean that you, a fan, a person with reason and intellect, can't think about this stuff on a deeper level and strive to see the value in it. Here's the sentimental part for me. My dad loves giving out nicknames. For example, his best friend for many decades was just a guy he called The Commish, a perfect frat house kind of nickname. My dad always referred to me as Skywalker. Every time we talk on the phone, every time we see in person, it's 
hey Skywalker. He never explained it. He never said why, but I kind of knew why, and it was because of his three kids, I was not just the biggest Star Wars fan, but also a dreamer, a stargazer. I was ambitious. I wanted to fix the world and maybe had a little bit too much main character energy at an early age. It always meant something to me that he called me this because I do want to be a Skywalker and everything that that word means to Star Wars fans. The very fact that Rey can choose the Skywalker family is in essence Star Wars telling us that we can too. Story choices matter and say something about the values of the storyteller. The fact that Star Wars still redeems villains is Star Wars saying that you too can always come home if you've been lost in the dark, that redemption is for everybody. And so to conclude here, I want to revisit Seneca's words. There are households of the noblest intellects. Choose the one into which you wish to be adopted, and you will inherit not only their name, but their property too. Nor will this property need to be guarded meanly or grudgingly. The more it is shared, the greater it will become. If no one takes the Skywalker name, if no one carries that torch forward with some honor and dignity, it won't be long until it is actually lost to time. And then Luke Skywalker really does become nothing more than a myth. That's all for now from Geeky Stoics, so go forth and be a Skywalker.